the Scribe system converts genomic DNA into a living tape recorder that can store information into cell populations. This animation shows a simplified depiction of how the Scribe system works. In the presence of an input, like a small molecule, single-stranded DNAs are produced from a gene cassette. Based on sequence homology, the single-stranded DNA can then be recombined into the cell's genomic DNA. Let's look at the process in more detail. First, mRNA transcription is activated in the presence of the small molecule. The mRNA includes MSR and MSD segments which fold into a characteristic shape. A specific sequence, in this case encoding a point mutation, can be engineered inside the loop of the MSD segment. Reverse transcriptase recognizes the RNA structure and reverse transcribes the MSD sequence as well as the additional segment to create a hybrid RNA-DNA molecule called MSDNA. Next, recombinase proteins bind to the single-stranded DNA and catalyze site-specific recombination during genome replication. After cell division, one of the daughter cells now includes a copy of the mutation in its genomic DNA, which will get passed down to the next generation. The frequency of recombination is low, so only a small number of cells in the population will undergo this recombination event. By examining the number of cells within a population with a specific mutation, the SCRIBE system allows us to understand the strength and duration that the cells were exposed to a specific signal.